Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm George. This channel is retro reselling. I buy and sell sort of retro vintage items, collectibles, buy them cheap from charity shops, boot sales, etc. and sell them online on my eBay store mainly and also Depop, Amazon, Facebook, wherever I can to make a profit. It's been a long time since I've done one of these but today's video is all about charity shopping because Sunday's boot sale is only one and half a field, I've already processed and pictured and tested everything. It's only Wednesday today, Wednesday morning. So I'm sort of, apart from listing, I haven't got much to do. So I thought, I haven't done one for a few months, obviously since the winter. So I bought me a backpack with the uh, clip on. If you don't know, I'm based in Chelmsford, central Essex, like a stone throw away from London. But I'm just seeing, is it really worth my time during the winter when the boot sales are off to keep coming to town or the charity shops. Yeah, is it, I'm going to be about an hour, hour and a half I reckon in town today. Is that hour and a half of my time going to be well spent where I could be sort of searching online or trying auctions out etc. I do them anyway but yeah, I'm going to test the waters with the town charity shops and see what we can get. It's going to be exactly the same as the boot sale videos. I'm going to strap you in to my strap, uh, get a bit of interaction when I'm picking stuff up and hunting for things. Then afterwards I need to pop to my unit because I'm wrapping orders today. So I'll show you what I got, what I paid for it, what I'm planning to get for it and where I'm going to sell it because charity shops tend to have good FBA stuff for Amazon. And then we'll round up, was it worth my time? I'm hoping we'll get something good anyway, otherwise this is going to be a boring video. <laughs> right, let's get to it.
Okay, just get a small premium filter coffee. Yeah. Anything else for that? No, that's all for Then five people each, please. Do you have a glass of popcorn? I know. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit, please. That's fine. Thank you. Cheers.
They can't be returned though, I'm afraid. That's fine. They? That's, that's her size reason. anyway. Yeah, that's fine. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, yeah proper Dr. Oh, Martins. They are, yeah. yeah, they are. They, they, it's a bit of a ones. polish, yeah. Yes. No, they are the polish. And you know the price as well, do you? Yeah, I saw that, yeah. They're, they're the made in England ones, oh, yes. which is uh, yes. made proper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You need to write the number down, okay? That's fine, yeah. Off to cash converters now. Always worth a look. unit over there but do you know how much it's tested or anything was it this power tested this, um it was the uh, like the mix up i'm buying that one as well um yeah um you do get a six months warranty with all your items as well i do okay i will get that one please yeah, yeah if it's got the did you say six months it was six yeah months, okay yeah. that's fine I'll give that's fine both the items come with six months warranty. okay yeah it's fine yeah Morning. Mm -hmm. Busking or is this donations? No, this is mine. I bought this. <laughs> I'm in a buying mood. Yeah. Right, so all done. Back in the car. How long did it take? Yeah, just over an hour, like I thought, but I did have to, you know, stop for a coffee. I had to pop to the bank. 
for a little bit so I could have done it in under an hour but interesting very interesting results only four items I've bought and only two of which were bought in charity shops and I've spent about 130 pounds on only four items so bear with me I'm not crazy there's a reason behind each one so let's quickly dash to my unit pick me orders and we'll see what I bought and why so back at the unit now picked out six orders that I've sold in the past couple of days and there's two to note as it's from my boot sale video a couple of days ago sold already and it's these two bought from a subscriber paid five pound each 35.99 I believe for the Arsenal shirt so it looks like I'm not keeping this one listed this literally yesterday or the day before I think it was so five pound into 36 sold within minutes sold like half hour or so so maybe could have got more but happy with that to go straight away nice easy package like I always say so I'm gonna have these football boots bought from the same seller five pounds into 30 plus postage I did have them listed for about 32.99 someone sent me a message if I could do any better just sent them an offer for 30 as they'd been again listed within hours and sold straight away easy package keeps the money rolling and yeah super quick sales so now on to what I picked up at the charity shops or two from charity shops two from cash converters so spent a grand total of 131 pound 94 plus 2 pound 50 for parking plus 75p for a costa coffee pro tip there go to costa bring your own cup filter coffee 75p bargain <laughs> 130 odd pound on only four items which seems very high but let's flip the camera around i'll explain what i got why i spent a bit more and what i'm hopefully planning to get so here we go then just the four items so it shouldn't take too long this was actually from the very last charity shop I went into. I think my battery ran out just before I picked it up. But it's just a nice Nike Barcelona. Oh, I think this is the third kit from a few years ago. I'm not sure exactly what year. So I've got to research that. Small men's size. So I'd preferably like it to be medium onwards. But I'm still picking this up for 199 Oh, tags come off. No player's name on the back or anything. I do recommend you check the backs because some people do personalise it to their nickname or their personal family name. And obviously that's going to be a very hard sale to make on eBay when you need someone with that specific nickname or family name. If it's got a player's name, obviously pick it up because you can add more to your sale price. This is nice and blank, so if anyone did want to add anything, they can do it at a later date or just wear it as it is. So from a 199 I'm going to be looking to list this for around £25, hopefully achieve at least 20 So my second and final charity shop pickup is these Dr Martin green boots. They know they've got charity shops now, obviously they re do their research. They've even put a premium brand like tag on it, 34 95 I had a quick look and they are made in England boots which makes a huge difference if these were made in Thailand or China, somewhere like that. You're probably looking at a sort of 40 to 45 50 pounds for these but made in england in overall good condition there is a bit of scuffing to one of these shoes a bit of scuffing here but polish that out that should be fine so why did i pay up 35 pounds for these boots obviously i say dr martins is one of the best sellers in reselling they're in really good condition also it's going to fetch strong money to double my money I'm going to have to sell these for about 70 to 80 pounds which is what I'm going to aim for obviously minus fees I'm going to get make obviously 30 35 pound it's going to take no time to post so I'm happy to pay up for a quick selling high quality item that's going to make me 30 pounds that's basically why I say don't be shy to pay up on things so even though obviously I've had to pay up a lot for these I'm still going to make 30 pound should be nice and quick and it's a nice quality item to add to my shop so I only picked up them two things out of the like seven charity shops I went to in town which is quite bad really but luckily we've got a cash converters and I always pop in there and I recommend you pop in like a cash converters sort of buy and sell shop as sometimes they do misprice things which is the case with this guitar here as you can see here only five pound this is for the Nintendo Wii I believe but it's for the the Beatles uh, rock band game even has the connector and it says it here the Beatles rock band going on completed and sold 
someone had sold the Xbox 360 version for £50, but I believe they took an offer. So it was a sort of 30, 35 to 45 they might have got. So obviously from a £5 from a cash converters, where they normally do their eBay prices anyway. I've nabbed this from under their nose and I'm looking to make sort of, I'll probably list this at like 50, try 50, taken off of, yeah, from 35 as it only cost me a fiver. So that was a great little find there. And last but not least is this beast here. Again, from cash converters, I've had to pay up for this, 90 pounds. So if you thought I paid up for the Dr. Martins, I've certainly paid up for this, but why have I paid 90 pound? I was, I'm in an R in for ages. Obviously you've seen me sell the small mixers and I say to look out for them. They sort of go for like 50 to sort of near 100, just for the little ones that are sort of this size. This is a massive unit, it's a really good name. Looked on eBay and people are sending these collection only which plays into my hands because I'm obviously not afraid to pack this worldwide. It's going to take a bit of wrapping because it's quite a big heavy unit. Quality item in really good condition and also the reason I paid up £90 for this is because it should be fetching me sort of at least 250 hopefully over £300 mark once I've put the leads with it. And also for an added bit of protection on my part the lady at the shop said they come with a six month warranty so if I quickly list and sell this I've got this six months from today to basically return it so say I list it sell it next week send it there's a problem with it obviously I'm going to try and test it as much as possible but if there's a problem with it they can return it and I can t return this to the shop if I really want if I can't get more than 90 for spares and repairs so hopefully it's all working okay she said it's been tested so hopefully at the time of them buying it they did test it obviously to pay up their customer so yeah stay tuned on our channel for this one so there we go short and sweet but um yeah quickly whizzed through them very interesting results i personally think obviously i've spent my time parking up in town walking around trying to find stuff but um, this is why I don't necessarily say concentrate on uh, charity shops when you're starting out reselling or even full time as it's so unpredictable and obviously they know what they've got. £35 for them Dr Martins is a fair price really. Obviously they get more money for their charity and they've left enough meat on the bone for me to make sort of double my money. But obviously Cash Converters which isn't a charity shop obviously has come to the rescue here. Also, obviously they've mispriced the guitar so that's a good bit of profit and then I'm taking a chance slightly but we've got the higher end quality unit which should be fetching the big strong money overall it was worth it today but on another day cash converters could price everything correctly which happens like eight to nine times out of ten times you go there so i'd have been left with two buys from charity shops which wouldn't have been worth my time to be honest so to wrap up uh don't concentrate on charity shops or don't rely on them if you can learn to drive get out and about here there and everywhere make contacts private buys obviously boot sales go to more than one if you can drive or if you can't drive put that high on your priority list try and get them lessons done it's expensive but it, if i wasn't driving i probably couldn't do this job anywhere near as much as i can now obviously i rely on my car so much so george's top tip today get a car <laughs> okay that's the end of this video so if i'm talking quieter there's people in it's obviously in the middle of the day people are in their lockers so it's a bit awkward talking out loud but um thanks again for your continued support over 4,000 subs now thank you so much only three days to go to I jump out of a plane and we're very near the target of a thousand pound obviously I set the first target at 250 pound each smashed through that and increased it to 500 pound each Great Ormond Street is almost there 90 odd percent nearly there mine's lagging behind so if you can make a donation again links in the description every pound counts minimum donation of only two pounds if you haven't got that much to give it's only two pound if you can i'd really really appreciate it thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye